Zero two. Who done it? Hi guys, I'm Zirfall. I'm Jackson. And welcome to another spooky adventure starring Hugo. And Penelope. And Penelope. Hit return for the story so far. Recuperating from their previous adventure, which was Hugo's House of Horrors, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Hugo and Penelope travel to Europe and the quiet charm of the English countryside where they have just arrived at the secluded cottage of Hugo's great-uncle Horace. We join them in the hall, where they are met by the maid. Saucy-looking French maid welcomes you. Oh. Bonjour, Hugo and Penelope. I placed your bags in your room upstairs. Is it the third door on the right, s'il vous plaît? If you please. You go upstairs now, please. I think you must be tired after your long flight, no? We see you in a little while, yes? I guess so. Penelope starts making her way upstairs. Just gonna leave Hugo with that saucy maid, eh? Yep. <laughs> Apparently Penelope makes her way upstairs and Hugo makes out with the maid. I don't think so. Nope, she's keeping an eye on him. <laughs> making sure he's not up to no good. That's right. So I think you have control of Hugo now. Oh, that maid's following your... Oh, she's keeping you from going any further. Yep. So you can only go up the stairs. That's kind of creepy already, actually. Can we go in these other rooms? The maid speaks to you. Please go to your room, monsieur. I think... Monsieur? I don't know. This one? Apparently not. <laughs> Although, can you type open door next to it? I don't know. Let's try. Also... This decor is very pink. They only had a limited color palette back in the day. The maid calls to you. Monsieur, I told you already. Tis the third door on the right. I don't understand what a Z right is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think she means Z right. So, let's open the door. Yep. I'm really tired after our long flight, Hugo. Says Penelope as she walks toward the bed. Ooh, I think I know what she means by that. Why don't you get a book from the bookcase and read while I have a little snooze? She continues. I still think I know where this is going. Penelope's tired. She wants her, <laughs> she wants her bed. Are you sure? Go to the bed and type in, yeah. Type in, get in bed with Penelope and see what happens. pushes you off the bed and mumbles something about getting a book. I guess this is supposed to be a Halloween special, not a Valentine's Day special. <laughs> Let's go get a book. Hmm, maybe we should hmm. get that obviously yellow book that's <laughs> in the bookcase. I don't know, I think the cyan book might look more interesting. <laughs> Let's try being vague first. Hmm. As you grasp the book, you hear a low rumbling noise as the bookcase starts to move. Hmm. And of course, you can't help but fall inside. Oh dear, it looks like Hugo has disappeared into a secret chamber behind the bookcase. Whatever next? <laughs> Whatever. Next! <laughs> Meanwhile, sweet Penelope sleeps on. Time passes. Maybe she's going to learn her lesson from just pushing Hugo off the bed. <laughs> A noise wakens Penelope from her slumber. A heated argument appears to be going on in the room next door. Uh-oh. Wondering briefly where Hugo is, you decide to get up and investigate what all the commotion is about. You see a light shining through the keyhole of the door over to the left. I wonder what we're supposed to go look through. Probably the keyhole. Maybe. Stick, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't think she thinks it's an argument. She's hoping it's something a little more heated. Okay. okay. It's a man. Oh, oh look. look. It's Great Uncle Horace. Who's that he's arguing with? Oh no. Great Uncle Horace. He got stabbed hard. Penelope is so shocked by what she just witnessed, she completely faints. What a powerful female lead character. After a little while, she comes around. All is quiet now. Nope. She gets up pretty quick. Well, 
poor great Uncle Horace. It appears there is a murderer in this house. Oh, maybe they can join the Guild of Murderers. I think it's called the Guild, Guild of, of Murderers. What are they called? Brave Ves... Brave... Uh, what's Spirit it called? or something like that? Yeah, I, I think... Know. I've heard that they're a Guild of Murderers anyways. <laughs> So now, sweet Penelope, your mission is clear. To find out who murdered Great Uncle Horace and bring them to justice. By the way, where did Hugo disappear to? All I know is, is that hand had the same color shirt as Hugo. He's our number one suspect. He is. Well, well I think there's only one thing to do, and that's to follow Hugo? I, well, I guess. I mean, can we go out this door? He really should look around this room first. They very much handhold you at the very beginning of the game. Well... Let's look. You are in the guest bedroom. Hmm. Let's go. Follow Hugo. Not close enough. Oh, now we're picky. Points. Nice. That's not quite the best point sound. Oh, man. Oh, it's, it's not even the point sound. It's just the... A door open sound. Hmm. You appear to be in an office of some sort? You were in Great Uncle Horace's study. Ooh. What's that bird up to? It appears to be in front of the cage rather than in it, though. Yes. It's a brightly colored parrot. Oh, parrots can talk, can't they? Hmm. Maybe we should talk to the parrot. Squawk, squawk! Pretty birdie, pretty birdie. What are you doing with that knife? Stop it. Arg, swack. Yikes. Well, the bird definitely saw a murder. Or at least oh, heard it from next door. Hmm. Maybe we should... <laughs> Look, Look in the deck? In desk? Ooh, book of matches. Ooh. Get those matches. You should probably save it now, too. You don't want to lose... What save? Oh no, is it F2? Try just typing in F1, because then that will tell you help. F4 is save. Oh, I know why. Wait, no, maybe I don't. Press F4? Hmm, let's try this. There we go. I have one of those fancy keyboards that have an F lock key so that F keys can mean other things. Gotta press enter first. There we go. So we're ready to continue searching through this study. Let's go see what's next door. A baby's room. Hmm. Can you get the balloon? As you grab the balloon, it bursts. A little card, which apparently was inside the balloon, floats to the ground. You pick up the card and read it. Confucius say, Detective who spend all day catching red herrings might do better to quit job and become fisherman. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you know it was a joke, in case you missed it. <laughs> what Can about these baby's blocks? Get it. Blobs? Blocks? I think you're a little too old to be playing with the baby's building blocks. Now, did we look at the top of the desk before we continue on our way? Uh, we didn't. Maybe we should go take a look. Let's just look at the desk. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, try looking at the phone or the pens. Hmm. Can you use it? Maybe call 911. Dial. Ooh. How about dial 911? You pick up the phone and dial the police. Just as you're about to get through and tell your story, the line goes dead. <gasps> oh man, look at all those bonus points for doing the right thing. Can you get the pens? It's of no use to you. Okay, I guess we're going to continue on our way. Can we go out this way? Maybe. Won't open. Won't open. Or down this way. Door's locked and you don't have the key. Hmm. Dip dip. I guess we're going through the baby's room. 
Now, look at. I believe that's a dumb waiter. It is a dumb waiter. Should we look at the dumb waiter? Yep. Let's look at it. It is a dumb waiter. <laughs> Used to be carrying to carry food up and down from the kitchen. Hmm. Now these days we have smart waiters that use your iPhone to control. What if we push that button? The switch works and the dumbwaiter uh works the dumbwaiter. The box goes down and up again. Ah, see, it's not time for that yet. But I'm sure in the future we'll be doing something there. Maybe door is locked and you don't have the key. Oh, I think I remember how this works. Yes, yes. We have to get out of here, but how? There's no way out. There's only one thing that's similar to an elevator. A dumbwaiter. A dumbwaiter. What if we get in the dumbwaiter? You get into the dumbwaiter and press the switch. The dumbwaiter descends to the kitchen below. Don't try this at home, kids! <laughs> Bad idea. Wow, this kitchen looks almost the same. Looks very similar to Hugo's House of Horrors. Yes, maybe there is something to be found in the kitchen this time, though. We are in the kitchen. How about we open a cupboard? A clove of garlic. Nice. Nice. Well, you should probably save. You know what? You should probably save it ever after we get every item that we get because you never know what's gonna happen. All right, can you open that door? Or are we stuck in the? Let's go check that. Nope, it won't open. I guess we're venturing outside. Yep. Oh my, what's going on here? She seems awfully happy. Considering she's investigating a murder. She does. Oh, look at all those buttons. Oh, look Whoa. who it is. The, the gardener see, sees you. He appears to be holding a pair of flyers, which he quickly thrusts into his pants. As if to hide them. Sure. He, he speaks. speaks. Ooh. My, you're a pretty little thing, and no mistake. Yikes. What say you close that door, eh? That'll make things nice and private. <laughs> oh no, Penelope, run! What if you close the door? Can you close the door? I don't think so. You should try. It could be fun. But I'm it... assuming he's not gonna Come let us closer, open. my dear. I'm not gonna let us at those buttons at all. Kissy, kissy. Yikes. Check if, you, check if you can close the door. Sometimes the games have nice little Easter eggs for people that do things like that. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> well, I guess it's true. Okay, can you get anything off the wall? There's tools on the wall. You have to be very specific. Try to look at tools. Hmm, you can see various rusty old tools. None of them look as if they would be of much use to you. Well then. We should venture on. I think we might have to come back. When Gardner is not around. Or if, when he's thrusting something else into his pants. Yikes. <laughs> hmm. A gate. Can I enter yet? Oh no, a bridge. Uh-oh. Now we know what can happen here. We should show the folks at home. You might as well save the game and show the folks at home what can happen. Because we don't want to play through the whole game and have to show them the reason. So we'll just tell them. But this bridge is pretty hard to cross. Oops. How careless. You seem to have dropped your little book of matches when you bumped into the side of the bridge. Apparently she just bumped into the side of the bridge. She didn't almost fall off or anything. So the matches are here. And if you look at the matches... Now give him a quick look. Your matches look a little soggy, presumably because you dropped them in the stream so carelessly. Oh, Penelope. 
So there comes a point in the game where you have to use the matches. Here's the thing. You can never dry the matches off. Never. You could play this game for 48 hours straight, and the matches would still be sopping wet, just as sopping wet as they are now. Yep. So this is why we have a save feature. I think you're looking for F5. I think you're looking for F9. What's F9 do? I just restored our game. Press F9. Whew, that was a close call. Our boss almost caught us. <laughs> if you press exit, type exit. Uh, back to the game. None the wiser. Oh, man. Now, I will say, I do know how to get rid of that gardener. You've already got what you need. Ooh, we have to eat some garlic, maybe. Mmm. Mm. You seem to pick up on the hints right away whenever I say anything. <laughs> he's a vampire gardener? I think he's just a perverted garlic that's going to try to kiss you, and when you have raw garlic in your mouth, man. Oh, look at him. He's just hoping for a kiss. <laughs> if you wait a second, he'll stop talking. There you go. Hit enter. It would appear the gardener is not too fond of garlic. Your terrible garlic breath seems to have gotten the better of him. I guess that wasn't really a double, double into a no or whatever. Double entendre. Before you start hitting those buttons, a word of explanation. Since you don't know what they do, you won't know what you've done till you see what they do. Confused? I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. I don't know. Let's push the... Pick a random color. Green button? Green means go. Click. Click. Alright, can you get the broom? Uh oh. Let's so... just try these other buttons and see if anything else happens. Let's push... Oh, okay, so we know so, what that one does. Let's push the yellow button. Click. Click. Well, might as well push the blue button. So we're pushing all the buttons. I'm sure one of them's something bad, though. Oh, you hear a faint rumbling noise in the distance. It could be. Oh, let's go check it out. Ooh, and it appears to be open, and the lights are now on. There you go. So we're pressing all the buttons. Making all of the things happen. What's that say? Entrance? Entrance. Hmm, I think before we go in the maze. We might want to see if we can find some... Game. Oh, yeah, that's very true. And actually, do you know what we'll do? We'll... Seems like a good spot. To cut the video. It does. Oh my gosh, we're fini finishing each other's sandwiches. <laughs> Next time. We're going to head into the maze, and hopefully we have all the items we need. See you then. Bye.